After the failure of the offensive on the Kherson front, Ukrainian forces have achieved significant success in the Kharkov region. While military operations in the steppes in southern Ukraine have led to imminent heavy losses, in the eastern regions the advancing Ukrainian forces can hide from Russian aircraft in the forests and use the terrain to develop offensive operations. Thus, on the morning of September 9th, the armed forces of Ukraine managed to wedge deep into the enemy's defenses. On September 8th, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine for the first time acknowledged the offensive in the Kharkov region. The Ukrainian military did not announce the control of the town of Belakleya, but it was declared by President Zelensky. Local sources report that the Russian units managed to provide a safe corridor for the withdrawal of the grouping that has been fighting in the city for three days. To date, the loss of Belakleya is the major defeat of the Russian military in eastern Ukraine. Ukrainian media solemnly celebrate the victory. At the same time, in social networks, the media controlled by Kiev are already spreading calls to local residents to provide any information on civilians who have cooperated with the Russian military and received Russian passports. Ukrainian nationalists are known for brutal reprisals against the pro-Russian population. To the north of Belakleya, after the capture of Volokovya, the Ukrainian military sent part of the forces to blockade Shevchenkovo and continue the offensive along the highway to towards Kubiansk. Ukrainian assault groups have already reached the villages near the city. Southwest of Kubiansk, Bezmetoshnoe and Spodobovka came under Ukrainian control. Another group of Ukrainian forces made a dash to the east, reaching the village of Senkovo on the right bank of the Oskol River. There's a bridge which is of strategic importance for the Russian military supplies to the grouping in Izium. To the south of Belakleya, Ukrainian forces attempt to advance towards Veseloe and Kunya, but they were slowed down near Zalimum. Part of the Ukrainian grouping is involved to divert the attention of the Russian military from the main directions of the attack. A local offensive began near Kubanki to the southwest of Izium. In the offensive, the armed forces of Ukraine use a large number of American, Turkish, French, British, and other foreign military equipment. About 20% of the attacking forces are foreigners. So far, Kiev managed to demonstrate the successes necessary to ensure further financing of the Ukrainian army by its Western partners. As a result, the Pentagon announced a new package of military assistance to Ukraine totaling $675 million. It includes additional shells for HIMARS MLRS, 105mm howitzers, HAM anti-radar missiles, Humvee armored vehicles, etc. Today, Russian forces attempt to stop NATO in the Kharkov region of Ukraine.